Impossible Foods is finally making its plant-based pork product available to consumers. Here's where you can find it. The company is launching its Impossible Pork at Mamofuku Sambar at Pier 17 in New York City. It'll also roll out in more than 100 restaurants in Hong Kong starting October 4th, and then it'll debut in Singapore later this fall. Impossible had first revealed its Impossible Pork product at CES in 2020, where reviews from colleagues confirmed it does in fact taste like the real thing. Impossible has made some slight adjustments to the flavor since we tasted the product last year. Impossible food scientist Laura Kilman said, Since previewing Impossible Pork at CES 2020, we've improved the texture, lowered the sodium, and made some other minor changes to ensure springiness and flavor. You'll now be able to decide for yourself whether this plant-based product stacks up against traditional pork meat. Although Impossible Pork will only be available at a handful of dining locations to begin with, restaurants in Hong Kong and the U.S. can now order Impossible Pork through major food service distributors. That means you may soon have the chance to try the product no matter where you live. In the meantime, Impossible Pork will be featured in popular entrees like Momofuku Sambar's spicy rice cakes dish and in four new signature dim sum and rice dishes at popular dim sum chain Tim Hu Wan in Hong Kong. Impossible Pork's release comes after the successful launch in 2016 of the Impossible Burger, which has since been featured on menus around the world, including at fast food chain Burger King. Impossible Burger has become widely available for home cooks as well, finding a spot on most major supermarket shelves. And if burgers aren't your thing, the company also released Impossible Chicken Nuggets earlier this summer. So what's Impossible Pork made of? The main protein is soy, and the major fat sources are sunflower oil and coconut oil. Impossible Pork also includes amino acids, vitamins, and sugars, as well as heme, an iron-containing compound that produces meaty flavors and aromas. There are no nitrates, animal hormones, or antibiotics, and the product is certified gluten-free. Impossible Pork has 37% fewer calories than pork from pigs, 59% less total fat, 36% less saturated fat, and nearly three times more iron. Both Impossible and traditional pork have about the same amount of protein, 18 grams for the plant-based version versus 17 grams for the animal one per four ounce serving. Impossible Foods has also been touting the environmental benefits of plant-based products. According to the company, Impossible Pork uses 81 to 85% less water and 66 to 82% less land than traditional pork. It also generates 73 to 77% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Impossible Foods' mission is to decrease the need for animals as a food source and to reduce the environmental impact of traditional meat production. But that doesn't mean the product won't appeal to vegans and vegetarians, if you can get over how meaty tasting this meatless product is, as well as members of religious communities in which pork is prohibited. In fact, eating pork is forbidden in interpretations of faiths, including Islam, Judaism, and some sects of Christianity. It's also worth noting that when Impossible Pork was first announced, the company said it was designed for halal and kosher certification. But now the company says it's not moving forward with those certifications because, quote, the authorizing bodies will not certify a product called pork, and they want to keep that term in the product name. As a lifelong practicing Muslim, I have never had pork, but I did have the opportunity to try Impossible Pork before the pandemic. It was a bizarre experience, to say the least. Subscribe to check out that video coming out soon, in which I interview Muslim and Jewish religious leaders about their thoughts on the product and its permissibility. You can also catch my experience trying pork-flavored food for the first time. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.